I've got another noble story that you guys should hear. Uh oh. Okay. Mm. Sure. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> what is? What's the noble story this time around? Um. Uh. Well. So it's the time you save two damsels in distress. Hmm. Do you want to hear it? Sure. Why not? I mean, please be aware that it's a very, very twisted version, and I don't remember what actually happened. So you gotta correct me after it. Uh -huh. I'm gonna tell you what I what I think happened based on the very few details I did here. So one time I was hanging out in a bunny stream, uh, bunny, you know, bunny. Yeah. Cool. Um. And she told me a story, and she said basically, uh, her and Susu were at a place. Um, bunny is a cosplayer, and a VTuber now. Uh, so her and Susu were at an anime convention and this weird guy went up to them and started hitting on them and then Noble appeared and he was wearing a Superman outfit because <laughs> it was an anime convention he was cosplaying and and what happened then is Noble went up to the to the guy and he said not today jerk hit on me and then you just put yourself right in the between them and you like stood puffing your chest out to him and, uh, and you're like if you want to touch anything Jiggly you touch my tits Touch my tits, you said, as you kept puffing up your cheek, your, your, your breast towards him, and he got uncomfortable and left. And then everyone clapped because Noble saved the day. <laughs> yeah, I was close. Uh, <laughs> very, very, very close. Very, very close. But uh, there was an event like that happened. Um, but, <laughs> but it wasn't Susu. Susu was not with us that night. It was actually another person. Um, oh. it was something Vixen. Uh, hmm. I, I, anyway, but, uh, the guy, I was walking to the bus to get back to the hotels. Um, thankfully, af after we, uh, we watched, uh, Faku's hentai presentation. Very funny. Mm -hmm. Um, and then there was like this hobo <laughs> slash drunk, like nasty Bugs. old guy that like went up to went up to us and it was you like, hey, I know you, hobo. I know you, and he was like pointing at Bunny. I was like, this is, is this like a fan that knows Bunny Ayumi? I wasn't sure at first. And then he was like, oh man, yeah, come right here, let me give you a hug. And he was acting real creepy as he was going up to like, I think he was about to like touch her tits or something like that. She got obviously scared. And she like tried to like shy away, and I just uh, went right up to him, grabbed him by his shoulders, and jerked him over to the side, um, basically right, taking thought, his ass off. You're about to say jerked, and then something else. Jerked him over the side. He was obviously <laughs> rattled, like because he was just like his eyes were like rolling around um, when wow. I like put him over to the side. He was he was on something or something. I don't know. I, and I was like, Yo, buddy, calm the fuck down. And then yeah. he was just like, oh, okay. He like <clears throat> nodded and then he like slowly walked off. And like, and that was, that was pretty much it. And she was like, thank you. I was so scared or something like that. And I was like, no, no, don't worry about that. And I was like, I thought I was a fan at first, but it uh, turns out that was definitely not a fan. Um, and then she told me like, Noble, when you get back, make sure you wash because that guy could have been, had some weird shit on him. <laughs> make sure you take yeah. him back. <laughs> Jesus. So that, yeah, that was, that was, that was basically it right there. Yeah. Wow. That's pretty epic. Yeah. Congratulations, Noble. Here, allow me to clap for you. I think it's amazing that you offered up your tits to protect Bunny. Yeah, no problem, man. That's someone's <laughs> got to do it around here. Someone's got to do it. <laughs> yeah. I think that's pretty. You prefer pretty Mary's brave of renditions? You. Wow, guys. That's, <laughs> that's pretty toxic, man. That's pretty toxic. I mean, I just told I the truth. I don't know why. I. And my, I, the way I remember stories tends to change drastically from how they actually happened. Yeah, that's kind of weird how that happens there. It's almost like yeah, you, like bullshitting more than the actual truth. Really. <laughs> I don't, I, don't <laughs> I mean, it's all almost like you make up are... comic stories that are greatly exaggerated or something. Who would have thought? No, all, <laughs> all stories change from how they actually happened. Mm -hmm. uh, just like the Bible and... Uh, yeah. Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's definitely, yeah. Star Wars was a little bit stretched, but uh, yeah. I think it's understandable, you know. It's understandable. Just a bit. Yeah. The real Star Wars was kind of boring. <laughs> yeah, there wasn't actually a fucking force or anything like that. Uh, nah. Yoda was just the well, small Paul's, guy. He was Mary is the professional yeah. storyteller here. Yeah. You're just a Genshine streamer. Oh, 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 wow. <laughs> 
Wow. <laughs> I see how it is. Like, I like telling what? the truth, but I also like telling bullshit like that. All right. Well, whatever. Subject G2 gifted you 100 bits, and he said, Well, pause. Marius, the professional storyteller here, you're just a Genshin streamer. Yeah, that's what he said. Yeah. I'm, I'm surprised. Oh, you, oh, you, you got read. text to speech on? I yeah, I got text to speech. Yeah, I don't say it. <laughs> uh, I got, I got uh, Brian to say it for me. Yeah. I see. Okay. It's I less really repetitive. Need to do that Some people like speech. hearing Brian's voice uh, say they're doing. I guess I'm. Too. I'm just afraid someone will say hate speech in my text to speech. Uh, so I don't there's automatic on. filters for that. So. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. So, uh, they they automatically don't allow that to actually even be donated. 